Now we're down to the last few items. Now, the last few items that I have to show you guys has a story behind it, in fact. This all happened last month when um, I got a mean, kind of mysterious couple of packages come. And you may have seen me tweet about it on my Twitter that I have no idea who they were from until I looked closer on the box and they were from my pen pal that I have not spoken to for a few months now. I lost contact with her sometime last year, I think because she lost, I think, she couldn't remember a password and stuff for like Facebook and that sort of thing and forgot my address and you know blah blah blah, blah. but point is that I've been pen pals with her for at least nine years now probably longer and I got to meet her for the first time last year she stayed with me and my family for a couple of days while she was here kind of gets touring around Australia she had kind of a mini holiday here because she'd never been over here because she's from New Zealand and um, after that um, her coming here those two days were the best highlight for me last year and so kind of out of the blue she sends me this random package and there's no letter, no nothing. No, like I know her, she always sends something with a letter. She loves sending letters. When I looked inside the package, I realised um, why she had sent me it. A couple of reasons. Two, because she knows I'll treasure them and one, I know she's not into this hobby much anymore. So my pen pal sent me at least some of her anime collection and I was very very overwhelmed you may have seen my reaction on Twitter and um, I'm gonna show you guys what she sent me and um, it's very touching because even if with all the anime that she sent me the whole point of this story and the package and that is that I got to get in contact with her again and um, I treasure our friendship very much so um, yeah this is very important to me all this anime that she sent me so it's gonna be like kind of maybe extra fangirling. So the first few things she sent me are kind of like single volumes of anime that I've not seen, some anime I've seen. And I don't have a problem being getting sent or people give me like volume ones of animes because you know, I think volume ones you can watch like the first few episodes and it kind of might entice you if you want to buy that series or if you want to continue watching it. Kind of lets you know if you'll be interested or not. So one of the first volume ones she sent me was for Starship Operators. Um, I believe this is a kind of sci-fi galactic kind of series. I have seen it on eBay around somewhere. And I have been kind of interested and keen to kind of buy the series, but I'm going to watch volume one see what I think and I'm gonna get through these volume ones really quickly and then getting on my bed not the floor this time uh, the next volume one she sent me was hack legend of the twilight a new world volume one I have seen hack I've seen hack roots I really enjoyed hack roots I'm not finished the series it was a long time ago what I enjoyed about hack roots was that um, I've never seen this hack before so I'm definitely gonna check this out but what I loved about hack roots was that it, it is about people in a game but it's about people playing their online kind of personas their characters not the actual people inside a game so it was really interesting and in watching pretty much characters in a game you are but you obviously behind the characters there are real people playing them but it was really really interesting so I'm hoping I'll give this a go and probably end up getting hack roots because you know, talking about it now, I'm like, I really want it. A couple of ones are a couple of OVAs. I already have the complete collection OVA of this anime series. It is Love Hina, and it is the spring special and Christmas special. Again, I am gonna, just because I have this doesn't mean I'm not gonna keep it, so I'm gonna keep it, because, you know, you never know what can happen when you're a clumsy person. You can break discs, spill juice on them, which I've so not done one is volume one of Ah oh My Goddess. Now this is a series that I have been hunting for for ages. It's a rare out of print one and I've been dying to see this series. It looks so friggin cute. Like the romance in it I've heard so many good things about. And Belle Dandy, she already stole my heart. Even if I'm not seeing this anime, I can tell she's so kind, so sweet and I just cannot wait to finally get my hands on this series. But I'll probably watch this volume and then it's just going to make me want it even more, unfortunately, probably. And also, along with Oh My Goddess, Penhouse sent me a couple of movies. 
One of them I don't have with me right now because my partner's borrowing it. It's uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children. I've seen Final Fantasy Advent Children before the movie. Um, I thought it was really good. Um, I do like the Final Fantasy kind of franchise. So it was kind of a good introduction to me, that movie of into Final Fantasy kind of basically. Because I've never played any of the games and I really enjoyed the movie. And I wish they made a series out of it. That would have been cool. Okay, and then moving on from that, the other movie she sent me, she only sent me a couple of movies, is actually Oh My Goddess, the movie. And obviously, I'm not going to watch this because I'm not seeing the series, and I'm not going to watch a movie to an anime series if I'm not seeing the anime series. Next sense. Another one is Final Fantasy Unlimited Volume 1. You guys know I've got the complete collection of this series. Again, I'm going to keep Volume 1. Never know what you can do to your anime. This is just me talking personally from being a clumsy person. And the last two kind of single volumes she sent me is Naruto Volumes 1 and 2. I ha I do want to see the entire series of Naruto. Um, it's not a series where the overhype or just being around for so many years has kind of put me off. It's just that I never got really got far with it. I got as well as up to, up to Zabuza. Yeah, that's how far I got. Not even into Shippuden. So I might re-watch... I might watch these volumes just to kind of refresh my memory of how the story began and such. One clip she sent, she sent me is Chance Pop Session. And it's kind of a singing kind of idol show because you can tell by the front of the microphone. And um, the inside is nothing really fascinating to show you anyway. Um, yeah, I love singing shows, you know, music kind of anime, but you know, that's why I'm still trying to avoid watching that Yola in April. I don't want to have a box of tissues again. We'll give this a crack, there's supposed to be kind of romance drama in it, so I'll probably tweet about it. Most likely you guys know that whenever I watch a new series, I sometimes might leave a few tweets about it. I wouldn't say I'm like live tweeting, really. Not, I don't ever spoil anything. I don't, when I kind of, you know, tweet about stuff, I'm just go, oh my god, that happened, you know, that sort of thing, you know. The next kind of collection she sent me, I was very surprised about, it's kind of a comedy series that I've not seen in a very, very long time, and I kind of dropped it because it was kind of tiresome, but I'm definitely going to re-watch some of it. She sent me an anime called Gal Galaxy Angel, I believe this is season one, Galaxy Angel A, I think, I'm not sure. That's one of the seasons anyway. And then there's Galaxy Angel AA. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the second season. And then this is Galaxy Angel Z. I don't know if this in the original art box set, which I was very surprised about. I believe this might be the third season. I'm not sure. And I really love the artwork on this. I do. It's very cute. Sorry. I'll just flip it around. Yeah, I really like the um, artwork on that. So this group of kind of military girls, they go into space and they're searching around on these diff different planets or traveling to different planets in search of this thing called the lost technology, kind of these unknown kind of items that have mysterious powers. But the plot is not really what the anime is about. The anime is kind of about them in these silly situations. The plot is just kind of a side. Really, it's just about how silly they all are and how ridiculous some of the situations they get themselves into. It was a cracker of a laugh of an anime it was. It was quite funny, so I definitely recommend checking out this kind of comedy, definitely. It's kind of an older one, and it's kind of a shame that not many people know about it, so. So the next kind of part of a collection, I've got to hunt down for part two, or collection two, um, was Lucky. So, now I've not seen this series, obviously it's by Kyo Annie, I'm going to watch anything by Kyo Annie, and um, I've always used this girl here, Konako, Konako, I think her name is, and I've always used her on my blog, cunning gifts and that, I just love all her reactions and I'm really excited to kind of finally watch this kind of comedy series because I've heard really just kind of, you know, good things about it. So the next thing my pen pal sent me was a show I'm probably going to probably put on the back burner. I probably might watch this show when I say I'm sick and I want something cute to watch. It's kind of a kids Japanese show, so this is kind of really for kids. It's called Panyo Panyo Digi Charita. 
or Charrot. See, look, see how cutesy-fied that is? Oh yeah. So, I have no idea when I'm going to get around to watching this, but it's probably not going to be anytime soon. So now I'm moving on to the last three very special items that my friend sent me. Well, they're special to me very, very much because you're going to see why. Okay, so the first kind of collection I'm going to show you guys is a very well known one and Australia sold these single volumes years and years ago. I have seasons one and two of this series already but I got them off eBay and I think they might have been bootlegged but the discs were okay but I have all the single volumes nearly. I'm missing volumes six and 14 but it is my friends, the original Australian release single volumes of Sailor Moon. So this goes up to pretty much up to the you know you know black moon saga pretty much like i said i'm missing volume 6 and 14 i am so happy to own this my pen pal back in the day was such a huge fan of princess serenity and um i had no idea she even had these and we're just gonna show one of the covers of course i'm gonna show the one of jupiter i love all these covers i think they're awesome and it comes with the original sailor moon this has got the original Sailor Moon dub. Uh, you guys know I don't like the new Sailor Moon dub. Amy, Ray, and Serena in the new dub all sound the same to me. I don't know if anybody else agrees, but there's my Bay, there's my Jupiter. And oh my god, I am so happy to freaking own this. You have no idea. All I gotta hunt down now for is volume 6 and 14, and this is complete. <gasps> my god, I cannot tell you how much I fangirled over this. I found good over this and the two other items I'm going to show you guys in a sec, but yes, the original Australian release, single volumes, Sailor Moon. We know a lot of people know, I've probably said it on Twitter uh, recently, that I'm a mecha girl. I love mecha. I've only seen so many kind of mecha series and I obviously fully intend to see a lot more. And um, I was very, very surprised to see this particular mecha series. <laughs> In the box, I wasn't expecting it because I was stalking both these series on eBay for ages and I was just afraid to click that buy it now button, like really afraid to. And now looking at it, it's like I finally have it. It is Gundam Seed! Ah! Just look at this beautiful box set! Oh my god, I am just dying. It's the original box set. Oh my god, what does the back say? A new world, a new war, a new Gundam. Sorry, I had to say that. I have just finished binge watching this series. A couple of my blogger friends have been hassling me to watch this series because I've seen Gundam Sea Destiny, but I've never seen Gundam Sea, which is before that. So I always had these unanswered questions I did about from Gundam Sea Destiny. When I finally when I saw this in the box, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta watch this series now. Dropped the Familiar of Zero for this, and oh my god, I'm so glad I did. I really am. It was a whirlwind of emotion. Oh, Gundam Seed was so good. And I know how much my YouTuber friend, um, Simply Rose, loves this series because it's one of the very first series she ever watched. And we're gonna eventually have a discussion about it, and I'm so excited. Like, really really excited I still can't decide between Akron and Kira it's a very very difficult decision but yes Gundam Seed and you want to know something else special if I can just grab it she sent me the original box set of Gundam Seed Destiny as well which I'm currently binge watching so I'm currently binge watching this one at the moment and oh my god I have both babies and also if I can grab this. I have the Gundam Sea Destiny came has kind of a final kind of volume. This kind of concludes the whole war pretty much this volume. So I was very surprised to get that as well. I'm so happy. This concludes my video. Hope you guys enjoyed kind of this anime haul kind of collection update kind of video thing. 
we're gonna call it a haul anyway but look i hope you enjoyed this video if you ever guys want to know what anime i get i always post about it on twitter and instagram as always guys don't forget to subscribe for more craziness and become a part of the kino family if you want to keep up with my anime antics you can follow me on my blog at lila kino anime corner and you can follow me on twitter at kino reviews where i am most of every day now I check it every morning and I will see you all whenever in the next video that I do.